What up, YouTube? Trash Talking Circle, Dirty Bird Nation, Rise Up Nation, everybody in that brotherhood. How y'all doing? Happy Tuesday. Sergeant AR10 back with another video talking about these Tampa Bay Yucks. Uh, the Yucks come to Atlanta and take on my Dirty Birds on Sunday. And this will be a tale of mistakes. Um, I feel like if my team, if, as long as we don't make mental mistakes or turn the ball over, uh, we should be good. Now we do have to deal with the Yucks defense. The, the Yucks defense isn't that bad. I mean, Ty Bowles, he's a good play caller. Um, he gets exotic on third down. He does a lot of zone blitzes, man. He's He's been around the league. You know, He's he's been a head coach before. So um, this guy is going to game plan and, and it's going to try to exploit some weaknesses um, in our offense, man. I think he's going to put uh, JPP on McGarry. JPP, you know, seasoned vet, man. He had a little incident with the uh, fireworks, but I think he'll try to line up JPP and McGarry. McGarry's a rookie, so um, I think he'll try to take advantage advantage of that. Now, um, their linebackers, man, fast, they can cover, uh, but their DBs are a little bit suspect, man. I don't think they can deal with Ridley. I don't think they can deal with um, Hooper. If Hooper comes back healthy, I don't think they can deal with Julio or Russell Gage, man. Russell Gage is somebody to look out for, but um, the pass rush, I mean, you know, Shaq Griffin, he, he kind of went MIA. He started off hot, but he went MIA. So I don't I don't see him as a threat. I mean, if any case, we can keep a back end and deal with him. Uh, Jake's, Jake's quietly having a good season, so Jake Matthews probably going to step up and handle him. So um, I just want our guys to come out, execute, do well on offense, um, you know, run the ball, man. The first half against Carolina, we only ran the ball like eight, nine times. But I expect maybe 15 to 20 runs. Um, blocking Sue and, and blocking Vita Vea, man, 50 and 93, that's going to be a tough task. But um, I think if we attack the perimeter, get our get our receivers on our DBs blocking because our receivers can't block. So um, if we t attack the perimeter, um, go up the mi middle every now and then, I think we'll be good. Um, our defense going up against the Yucks, uh, Cameron Bright, man, 10 catches their last game. That's going to be trouble. Uh, Devondre and the rest of our, uh, of our linebackers and safeties, man, they got to be on Cameron Bright, man. Our corners got to, of course, um, look out for Mike Evans, man, 6'5", receiver, can run, back shoulder throws. I mean, he'll get his catches, man. He'll, you know, four or five catches, 70 yards. Um, Godwin is the one I'm most worried about. I think he's the most dangerous in the open field. He can break a lot of tackles. He's quick. Um, they got another receiver uh, that's that's decent in the slot. So, you know, we're going to have to deal with them as well. Uh, James is going to Jameis. You know, he'll throw for a bunch of yards, but he'll probably have strip sack. Um, we'll probably sack him three, four times. He'll probably throw a couple interceptions, some miscommunications. You know, Yucks fans will blame it on his ankle or his knee or whatever, and, and that'll be that. Um, but, you know, our defense, man, the way they've been playing the last two weeks, nobody expected it. You know, Carolina Panthers fans didn't expect it. Uh, shout out to J-Dub, man, good video, man. Shout out to um, Keep Pounding TV with all those people calling in. You know, completely unexpected our defense to come in there, get five, six sacks, four interceptions, man. And it's just going to be – I think it's going to be even better uh, next – I mean, next week, man. I think it's going to be even – I think our pass rush is going to be stronger. These guys have, you know, gelled together the last two weeks. They're going to keep blessing Winston. They're going to put him under pressure. I mean, he's not he, – he's not, like, immobile in the pocket. He can run a little bit, but, you know, he's hampered because of his injury from last week. So, um, we'll get in there, man. Uh, Tack will do his thing. BZ will do his thing. Um, I don't think their tackles can block our D-line at all. Uh, Grady demands a double team, you know what I'm saying? And you got guys like Jack Crawford, man. You don't know if he's going to rush or drop in coverage. It's just a lot of guys, man, coming at them, man, and, and doing their thing. You know, Bailey had a sack last week. Um, you also got Tyler Davidson in there, man. So they got a lot to deal with as far as our defense, man. So um, I predicted us to beat the Carolina Panthers by, like, 10 points, man. We end up blowing them out. Um, the Yucks, the Yucks are gonna yuck, man. They're just gonna do they're gonna do things to give us the game, man. We we beat this team seven out of ten times. Um, if we sweep them again this year, that'll be, you know, nine out of twelve, man. It's not really 
a rivalry. It's not really a rivalry with the Panthers anymore either, you know? I mean, most most games start back and forth, and then one team gets momentum, and then they just carry it through. Um, that Carolina game, you know, started off close back and forth, but once you once we ran that punt back, man, I mean, we had the momentum. They couldn't get it back. They kept turning the ball over. We kept scoring. So, that's – I mean, I expect the same thing out of the Yucks, man. Um, so, I think we'll, we'll, we'll edge them. By like maybe seven to ten points, man. Um, they'll come in here, throw the ball, throw the ball, throw the ball like they always do. Um, you know, Leftwich is a good play caller, man. I mean, he's decent, but I just think he falls in love with the pass too much, man. Uh, offense like ours is an offense that you want to keep off the field. You know what I'm saying? So um, he'll just fall in love with the pass. We might get up seven, fourteen points. He'll fall in love with the pass. They'll make mental mistakes, and then they'll try to make a run at the end, but it'll be too late. Uh, shout out to Bucko's Locker, Tampa 2 Bucks, RTP, uh, Real Talk Perez, um, everybody, all the, all the Bucks video makers, man. Shout out to y'all, man. Um, I'm pretty sure y'all are going to um, be mad at what happened last week. I mean, y'all did, y'all did get screwed over by the refs. I mean, it happens. It's football. You know, you're going to have good play calls and bad play calls. You just got to play through it. You know what I'm saying? So um, that's my preview against the Yucks, man. Um, 30 birds will probably come down, um, put up maybe 25 to 35 points on them, um, do our thing because their secondary is young and inexperienced. Um, Bowles will have, you know, some some good plays called. Bowles is a good play caller. He'll have some, you know, some things worked up and some different looks he's going to throw at our offense, but we'll figure it out. Uh, but I just want us to run the ball more. It doesn't have to be in between the tackles. Just run the ball more. Keep the defense honest. Make the linebackers run where their defensive line out. That way it's less it's less pass rush. I mean, that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway, yeah. Uh, this is my preview versus the Yucks, man. Uh, Dirty Birds, man, on a two-game winning streak. Just turn up, man. Turn the volume even, even higher. You know what I'm saying? I need them to turn the volume up even higher. Practice harder. Uh, focus harder. And let's get this win over the Yucks. So, Anyway, Sergeant AR10 signing out. Y'all be easy. Have a great Tuesday. Um, I'll break down the Yucks defense on the next vid, okay? Peace.